Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change eye and hair color using Color Adjust in Unity. Today I'm using Unity 2019, but please keep in mind this does work for Unity 2018. It just might take a little poking and prodding to figure out where those settings are, but they are all generally in the same place. The avatar I have here today is Muna by Rami, and without further ado, let's get back into the video. So if you haven't seen one of my last videos, I showed you how to change texture colors using GIMP. Please keep in mind that this still does work with hair. If you're specifically doing hair, I suggest using the color exchange method as it'll keep the most detail. Although if you're looking for a slight easier way to still keep the level of detail that you have, and let's say your color, your hair color is not black or white, it still has color to it, this is one of the easier ways you can use to change hair and eye color. I specifically do this for eye color and sometimes hair color just because it's easy, simple, it's a slider, I can do whatever I need to do. It just takes a little bit of adjusting to get the color that I want. Now, again, if you didn't hear me before, this specifically works on hair that already has color. So if your hair is black or if it is white, this method isn't going to work. The same applies to eye color. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So here we have our hair. This is my normal hair texture that I use for every single avatar since I pretty exclusively do pink avatars. It's going to be the same for me, but if you have a colored hair texture, I suggest applying that or finding at least a decent colored hair texture that looks good on the avatar. It doesn't necessarily have to be the color you want, it just has to be colored. Next, underneath main, there's this little tab that's going to be pulled up called color adjust. Now, color adjust is probably going to be one of your most helpful tools, especially for minor adjustments. Let's say that there is a color you did in a photo editing software and now that you put it on an avatar, you don't want to adjust it. And it's like, wow, now I have to take it back. Well, for color adjust, I can check that off and pull down the tab. Here you see hue replace, hue shift, hue shift speed, saturation, and brightness. So one of the things we're not going to have to worry about is hue shift speed. I'm not going to focus on that. But hue replace is basically replacing the main base color. So we are going to want that checked off. It is normally checked off by default. So hue shift, now if you watch the hair closely, if I toggle it up, the hair starts changing colors. It has every single color in the RGB. And now we're gonna slide, let's say we wanna make the hair blue. So now our hair is blue and we're like, wow, but it's a little bit too pale. Pulling up the saturation allows more color. So the higher the saturation is, the more color there is going to be. The less the saturation is, the dimmer the color is going to be. The reason why there's still pink tips for this is just my matte cap that I have on the hair. But looking at the blue parts, I can slide this to purple, I can pull up the saturation, I can pull it down. Super, super easy and super simple. Now, brightness is also a setting you can use to change how bright you want the hair itself and how dark you want it. But please keep in mind, brightness does actually change the um, quality of the image. So your texture is an image, you know, that is placed onto the avatar. Brightness will change the quality of that, and you are going to see that when I adjust the eyes. So I'm ticking that. We're going to go back to the normal color. And now we are going to find the eyes. They're going to be somewhere around here. And now we're going to check off check off, sorry, color adjust. And if I hue shift here, specifically there being two different eye colors, I can adjust the hue. I'm going to pull up the saturation so you can see what I'm doing. I can change the hue of the eye. And as you can see, I'm still keeping that same quality in both eyes. I can adjust the hue and I don't have to take it into a photo editing software. Now, here's what I was talking about when it came to brightness. If I pull the brightness up, I am losing the quality of the image. It is making the darkest parts of the eye color to become bright, just as I can make it brighter. But you do lose quality the brighter you get. Now, I genuinely hope that helped. 
please keep in mind, this does apply for things such as dresses. If there's a color that you want to change, this applies for a lot more than hair and eyes, but for the sake of quality and keeping it very similar to each other, I recommend using this for hair and eyes. It's the easiest way to change these textures. Without, you know, without much else being said, I hope you have a great day.